Hi. It's Miss Lori. And Anna. She's back with me. Today we wanted to share a book with you. Oh, and my clock is going off right now. How appropriate. It's called Wake Up by Helen Frost. It's springtime and there's all kinds of new life outside. And actually, April is Poetry Month. And this book is written very poetically. So let me read you what it's about. Wake up. Come out and explore all the new life waking up around you. Newly hatched birds in the trees, tadpoles in the pond, and a newborn fawn in the woods. The world is wide awake. Are you? So this book, it's written simple poetic language and close-up photographs mm -hmm. invite readers to explore all the baby animals who are born during the spring. So the, they're actual photographs, they're not drawings, and they're amazing. So what I'm gonna do is I'll read the book and Anna has a sheet that describes the pictures as I read it. So they're very, very beautiful photographs. But first, before we begin, we'd like to sing you our hello song. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, say shh. If you'd like to read a book, say shh. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, say shh. Okay, wake up by Helen Frost. And our first photograph is this. Doesn't that look interesting? So Anna will read what it is. Sunlight shines through translucent eggs that will soon become gray garden slugs. And one more picture before we start. Look at this. A newly hatched Chinese praying mantis steps across an English daisy. Ooh. Look how little he is. <laughs> Sun says, wake up, come out and explore. Okay. A sandhill crane chick, about a week old, Goes exploring. He's only a week old. <laughs> New life is exploding outside your door. There's two pictures, so Anna will do the first one. Baby American robins open their beaks as they wait for their parents to feed them. He's hungry. <laughs> And then a vinegar fly lands on a blade of grass and faces a soft fly larva. Look at him. So tiny. <laughs> <laughs> What's new in the sky? What's going on in the trees? Yeah. Mating pairs of two different kinds of birds, gray blue herons and great white egrets bring sticks and build nests at the top of the tree. Do you see them? Look at the blue sky. <laughs> Who's inside these eggs? What catches the breeze? Four tree swallow eggs have been laid in a nest lined with soft feathers. Soft feathers. And then dandelion seeds land in a patch of wild violets and float away on the breeze. Beautiful. I love the colors. <laughs> oh, you should see this. New life is everywhere. Open your eyes. And then newly hatched cellar spiders walk near their father on a blade of grass. Look at him. And then the pink one is a Chinese praying mantis casts a shadow on the petal of a peony. Beautiful. I love peonies. <laughs> They're so colorful. <laughs> that might be an ant, but look, it flies. Oh, here I'll show you a picture. 
Most ants do not fly, but each colony has one queen ant who is the mother of all the other ants in the colony. This is a winter ant queen, and she can fly. She can fly. At the edge of the pond, where frogs croak and kiss, look into the water. What is this? These green frogs will mate and their eggs will hatch into tadpoles. And then... This tadpole lives in the water as it grows into a red-eyed tree frog. Ooh. Now the pictures get very, very cute. <laughs> Whose baby hides in the forest? White-tailed deer babies, called fawns, have white spots, which makes them harder to see in dappled sunlight on a forest. A fawn. She's so cute. <laughs> and it gets cuter. <laughs> which twins are born on a farm? These lambs, the babies of domestic sheep, were born within minutes of each other. They are just a few hours old. A few hours old. They're not even a day old. <laughs> so precious. Oh. This is your favorite? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who breaks out of an eggshell and snuggles close and warm? A newly hatched mute swan called a signet is still wet as it stays close to the other signets who hatched before it. And then... No. Oh. No. Yeah, okay. Wait. Did we read you? A hatching new swan is pecking a hole in its shell. Okay. Look how cute. These are my favorites. <laughs> so many new creatures with so much to do. The world is wide awake. Are you? A family of woodchucks comes out from under a bridge into the sunlight. A common gaggle, not quite ready to leave the nest, calls out for food. He's saying, I'm hungry. <laughs> Feed me. Okay, and I think we have one Hi. more picture. Look at this. <laughs> A European honeybee carries pollen from one flower to another. Beautiful. Yeah. The end. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed our book yes. about spring and all the new life that comes out. It's so exciting in the spring. Yeah. I hope you Go outside, take a walk, and see what you can find around your neighborhood. <laughs> so thank you for watching, and we want to say goodbye now with our goodbye Bye. song. If, okay. <laughs> it's time to say goodbye, goodbye to our friends. It's time, time to say, say goodbye, goodbye to our friends. friends. Story time is done today, so come again another day. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. <laughs> I'm sorry, we got confused. <laughs> Enjoy spring and thank you for watching. Bye. Bye bye.